in this now i am going to explain you harmonic conjugate points consider a line segment ab with respect to this line segment ab p and q are said to be harmonic conjugate points if and only if p divides ab in the ratio m is to n and q divides ab in the ratio minus m is to n here p is dividing ab in the ratio of m is to n which means that ap by pb which is equal to m by n and here q is dividing ab in the ratio of minus m is to n here q is there on the extended portion of ab here so that i represented with minus m is to n now q is dividing ab in the ratio of minus m is to n means that aq by ab sorry bq which is equal to m by n now i tell you the reason why we people are calling this p and q are harmonic conjugate points now take reciprocal on both sides so that here you get pb by ap which is equal to n by m and here also take reciprocal on both sides bq by aq which is equal to n by m now here it is equal to n by m it is here it is equal to n by m i want to equate these two now we equate both of them on equating both of them we get here pb by ap now which is equal to bq by aq see this in the next step in place of pb you can write ab minus ap whole by ap now which is equal to in the place of bq you can write aq minus ab by a aq i think you have got it in the place of pb so observe this line in the place of pb you can write ab minus ap so in the place of bq you can write aq minus ab in the next step divide these two with ap so that you get ab by ap ab by ap minus ap by ap which is equal to aq by aq which is equal to 1 minus ab by aq now okay simplify this i am bringing this one to the left side so that you get ab by ap which is equal to plus ab by aq now when you transfer this one to the right side so that you will get 2 so in the next step from the numerator take 2 ca ab common so inside you get 1 by ap plus 1 by aq now which is equal to 2 now take cross multiply here do the cross multiplication so that here you will get aq plus ap by ap into aq which is equal to 2 see transfer this one to the right side so that here you will get aq plus ap by ap into aq which is equal to 
2 by AB. Now, here after reciprocal on both sides so that you will get AP into AQ by AQ plus AP which is equal to AB by 2. Now, transfer this 2 to the left side so that you will get AB is equal to 2 into AP into AQ by AP plus AQ. Now, by this step, you people can conclude that AP and AB AQ AP the distance from A to P and here A to B A to Q these three will be in harmonic progression when do you get uh, this condition so here AB is equal to 2 into AP into AQ by AP plus AQ you got so by this step you be people can say that this AP length and AB and AQ. So these three are in harmonic progression. Are in harmonic progressions. In these three, this middle one AB is called harmonic mean of this AP and AQ. Hence we people are saying that this P and Q are called harmonic conjugate points. I think, I hope you have understood why we people are saying these two points are called harmonic conjugate points. The reason behind this is this AP length and AB length and AQ length. These three lengths are forming harmonic progression. Hence, we people are saying this P and Q are called harmonic conjugate points how uh, this ab sorry ap ab aq are uh, forming harmonic progression here I have given you the reason and here we people can expect one more question from this diagram see that here i said to you with respect to this ab P and Q are harmonic conjugate points. Even this A and B are also harmonic conjugate points with respect to PQ. With respect to AB, P and Q are called harmonic conjugate points. But with respect to this PQ line segment, A and B are called harmonic conjugate points. Remember this point. And here, P divides AQ, sorry, P, sorry, B divides this PQ in the ratio minus MN is to M plus N. This B divides PQ in the ratio minus MN is to M plus N. B divides PQ in the ratio m minus n is to m plus n. How it is m minus n is to m plus n? I give you the reason. See, let us consider the length from a to p b some m k and hence uh, distance from p to b n k. And from A to Q, let us take uh, this uh, length B, ML, because Q is dividing AB in the ratio of minus M is to N, which means that AQ length will be, if you take ML, then BQ length will be NL. Here, no confusion. As per the given data, P and Q are harmonic conjugate points. And P is dividing AB in the ratio of M is to N means AP length you do not know. Just we are considering as MK. You know you can take like this. 
whenever the ratio is given like this you can consider this uh, length will be mk and this length will be nk where k is a any real number other than zero so in the same manner you can consider qa length as ml and bq length as nl now in this figure in this figure so here take the division of these two what i am finding at what ratio b divides pq so for that see here i am dividing pb with bq so that what do you get here nk by nl nl cancel now pb by bq see if you add this uh, ap plus pb what do you get ab now ab can be written in this figure as ap plus pb which means that mk plus nk now take k common a m plus n into k but the same this ab also can be expressed the difference of this aq minus bq ab or we can express it aq minus bq which means that see here from a to q we have taken ml minus bq that is nl now take l common ab which is equal to m minus n l now we equate these two m plus n into k which is equal to m minus n into l now we are we require k by l so take this l to the left side so that you will get k by l which is equal to m minus n by m plus n now substitute this value over here so that you will get this pb by bq which is equal to m minus n by m plus n now we can say that this b divides pq in the ratio of m minus n is to m plus n now this b is there interior portion of pq and i said to you this a and b are harmonic conjugate points with respect to this pq line segment here b is dividing pq in the ratio of m minus m minus n is to m plus n no hence a divides pq in the ratio minus m minus n is to m plus n because these two are harmonic conjugate points hence if b divides pq in this ratio then a divides pq in the ratio minus of m minus n is to m plus n thank you